Hello family, this is Eunice Kemunta with Monday Musings and today I am so excited to connect back with you to share with you what God has blessed me with. And today's topic is how to attract divine favor. How to attract divine favor. Perhaps you have lost a loved one or you have lost something that you deeply cherish and right now you are ashamed, disappointed, you are hurt, you are discouraged and you're just grieving. I just want to encourage you, beloved woman, beloved man of God, that you do not have to remain so. The lover of your soul, the one who created you, is ready to receive you back to him with wide open arms. And he wants to love you, to cherish you, to honor you, and do a new, a brand new thing in your life. So I'm going to share with you three things that you can remember, that you must remember in order for you to attract divine favor in this season when you have lost a loved one. You ready? Okay. Point number one is pursue God deeper. You see family, the deeper you pursue God, the deeper you go in his word, in praying, in, in drawing closer to him, the more he will reveal to you his plans, his purpose, and his will for your life. So in this season, when you are disappointed, you are ashamed, you are discouraged, you're just mourning the loss of your loved one. Remember to pursue God deeper. Okay? And then point number two is live righteously. Family, holiness attracts divine favor. Refuse to act in desperation. In fact, refuse to participate in any known or habitual sin because the Lord detests sin known and habitual sin, the Lord detests it, detests it. So see yourself the way God sees you. You are the apple of his eye. He loves you deeply and he wants to renew, restore and heal you. So in this season, I encourage you to live righteously, pursue holiness and you will attract divine favor. And then point number three that you must remember is have faith. Keep your faith. Remain in the faith. Um, remember that God is not a respecter of persons. He is a respecter of faith. What he did for me, he can do for you as well. He does not choose. He can choose who he favors. But he respects faith. When you believe in him, when you know and believe that what he says in his word, he is able to do. He loves that. He, he loves to respond to you when you have faith. He, he loves to respond to you in favor when you have faith. So if you would like the favorable hand of God to be outpoured upon your life in this season, when you are mourning the loss of your loved one, remain in the faith, have faith, keep up the faith and you will attract divine favor. I hope that, beloved, these three points can help you. First, I said, pursue God deeply. Secondly, I said, live, live righteously. And thirdly, I said, have faith. So if you try these three things, you will be able to attract divine favor in this season of your life when you're mourning the loss of a loved one or something that you cherished. So for now, that's it. Enjoy the rest of your week. Be blessed until I see you again next Monday to share with you more thoughts. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.